This was yesterday's White House press briefing. Corinne Jean-Pierre was asked whether President Biden is concerned about the obvious rise of anti-Semitism. I mean, you just heard it from two of our callers. Listen to Corinne Jean-Pierre in the White House press briefing. Wait until, and I give you my word that we didn't edit this. It's not like we took a question and then we spliced in a different answer. This was her honest to goodness response to the question about anti-Semitism at the White House press briefing yesterday. This level of concern right now about the potential rise of anti-Semitism in light of everything that's going on in Israel. So a couple of things, um, look, um, uh, we have not seen uh, any credible uh, threats. I know there's been always questions about uh, credible threats. Uh, and so I uh, just want to make sure that that's out there. But look, uh, Muslim and those perceived uh, to be Muslim have endured a disproportionate uh, number of hate-fueled attacks. Uh, and certainly President Biden understands that many of our Muslim Arab Arab Americans and Palestinian American loved ones and neighbors are worried about the hate being directed at their communities. And that is something you heard the president speak to in his uh, in his address uh, just last last Thursday. And so uh, one of the things that the president has done is directed his team, uh, uh, Homeland Security team, to prioritize prevention uh, and disruption of any emerging threats that could harm the Jewish, the Muslim, uh, Arab Americans, or, or any other communities. And that is something that the president has sought to do. And and since day one, as you know, the president ran on on um, on you know bringing commu protecting communities, obviously, but bringing people together, the soul uh, uh, protecting the soul of the nation, uh, and so um, that is something that the president takes very very seriously, uh, and. Um, we know we're going to continue to denounce any sort of hate uh, towards any American here, uh, and so that's what we're going to continue to be steadfast on. Again, he has he has uh, uh, advised, directed his Homeland Security uh, team to make sure that they're on top of this. How do you like that? How do you like that? In a in being asked about anti-Semitism, she gives an anti-Semitic answer. <laughs> I mean, she pivoted to who she really is. And what the White House represents, they believe that the real victims of the slaughter of babies and ch children and elderly people and innocent people in Israel, the real victims are Muslims. Wow.